Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Jolene. Alright, that is wicked hard to do. I had to practice that. I don't know, five days in a row before I could figure it out. I couldn't find it anywhere exactly the way uh, it sounds like he's doing it. So, uh, But I'll show you that in slow motion at the end of the video. Because I know most of you just want to play the chords. But uh, I think I figured out that really cool uh, picking part. So, Alright, so your intro is that picking part, but if you just want to, um, you know, play chords and stuff, well, I forgot my pick. Well, I guess I'll use my thumb today. Um, you want capo 4th fret, okay, and then you'll be in her key. Uh, let's see. Your intro, you could just do like a uh, down, 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 down. minor which is four fourth strings third string second fret second string first fret I'm going to mute that sixth string with my thumb up here I think that's what I'm doing down 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 up, up down 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 up so that's what you could do for your intro and whenever you have a chord that's a whole measure it's going to you're going to use that pattern or you could use that pattern you could do something else if you like all right when she comes in, when Dolly starts singing uh, the chorus, you know, Jolene is the first thing you hear, right, uh, after that after that intro. Uh, you're going to switch to a, a short pattern, so just go down, down, down. So, A minor to a C to a G, then an A minor long pattern. Your chorus for the whole song, okay? Uh, it's a bit tricky uh, at parts. Uh, let's see. Uh, so you got the A minor. How about a C chord? I just leave my A minor and I lift up my third finger, put on the fifth string third fret. Got my C chord. So fifth string third fret, fourth string second fret, second string first fret. Another short strum. Down, down, down. Then I go to the G chord. Any G chord will do. Any G chord you want to do. I'm going to do sixth string third fret, fifth string. 2nd fret, probably the 1st uh, string 3rd fret. That's probably what I'll do. Down, down, down. Now that measure there, uh, so far you got A minor and C share a measure, because we're in 4-4 four, four times, so there are two beats each. Then you got this G chord that's, we switched to 2-4 time for just that G chord. So don't let it mess you up, just go by the words, that's all I do. Um, I certainly don't count, uh, you know, uh, a 2 4 bar. I just think it's only two beats, that's all. And then you get back to 4 4 time. The A minor is a big pattern, a big long pattern, and that's the uh, 4 4 time. And then the G is another long pattern, it's another 4 4. And then A minor, two more measures, and then it repeats. So there's a bar of 2 4 in the middle of the song on that G chord, on the Jolene. So it's like Jolene. Right here, it's two beats and then four. So that's really the only tricky part, and you probably wouldn't even notice it. I did. I never noticed it ever until I was figuring out the song, and I was like, "Oops, there's something, something a little tricky in there." So uh, it, you do that pattern twice uh, is your chorus. Then your verse goes back to uh, what they do is they they just they do it in four four. They don't go to a two four measure here. So um, your beauty is beyond compare. That that sort of thing. The verse is so A minor. To a C, to a G, to an A minor, and then a G, the long one, and then an A minor is long twice. A minor short, C short, G short, A minor short, and the G for long, A minor for two longs. And that's it, that's it for the song, really. The outro is just an A minor over and over and over. Nashville guys, uh, you know, that's actually really difficult, or at least was difficult for me. Maybe not for you, for me it was, it was difficult. All right, 
So, uh, you need the form of the song. So the intro is just an A minor chord. Uh, the chorus is the Jolene part. A minor C, G, A minor. That's the chorus. The verse are the same chords, it's just that it gets rid of that 2 4 time and uh, the 2 4 measure, I'm sorry. And then it does a verse followed by another verse, then a chorus, then a verse, then a chorus, then the outro. Okay? So intro, chorus, verse, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, outro. Okay? That's your form of your song. It's basically the same chord pattern over and over again. You just have to follow the words whether you. S whether you, um, when you get to that A minor, is it going to be just two beats or is it going to be four beats, basically, after the G chord? So I hope I haven't confused you too much, but just go by the words, you'll be fine, you know? Um, all right, now, for the, for the part that held this song up for, forever, for me, anyway. Um, okay, I couldn't find it anywhere exactly written like this. Uh, many people tried, and it just didn't seem right. So... You're going to grab an A minor chord, right? Uh, I'm going to lift up my ring finger off the third string so it's open. I'm going to, with my right hand, I'm going to hit the fifth string and the third string open. And then I'm going to hammer back onto the third string second fret. That's my first move. Uh, I'm going to use my middle finger and my thumb for that move. I thought about this for a while, trying to get the right right hand fingering so I don't have string crossings and so forth so that I can do it fast enough. That's the key is we can do it slow but to be able to do it like that guy uh, or maybe it's Dolly playing. Boy, she's a really good player if she can do this. So uh, I know she plays guitar so. Alright, so after you do that hammer on your thumb now goes to the fourth string and hits that. You're already holding down an A minor, that's the key. And then you're going to hit open second string, so lift up your first finger. So I guess you're, you're really doing an A sus 2, aren't you? Just like that. So my right hand is my thumb in my middle, hammer, my thumb goes to the fourth string, my middle hits the second string open. Then I go back with my thumb to the open fifth string, so it sounds like this. Okay? Then I'm ready, I'm going to do the double hammer on, so I'm hammering, uh, I want to start with, I want to hit open fourth and the second string open, and then I want to hammer that to the fourth string second and the second string first, like that. And I'm going to use my middle and my, my middle and my thumb to do that. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay. As I'm doing that hammer, the back of my thumb is nicking that open fist string and I'm getting rid of it. So it's like magic. Of course I screwed it up, didn't I? Okay, you're halfway there. Now what you do is uh, you just let go of everybody and you hit fist string, second string, fourth string, third string. And what I'm doing there with my right hand is I'm using my thumb, my middle, my thumb, and my index. So they're all open. So fifth string, second string, fourth string, third string. Thumb, middle, thumb, index. So together it's like. So those are uh, relentless. They're a 16th note, so it's, it's no pausing on those. Then what you do is you grab the second string first fret and you're going to hit the fifth string with it. So I'm going to use my middle finger for the second string, my thumb for the fifth, and I'm going to do a pull-off. Second string first fret to open. And then my thumb hits the four and my index hits the three string, like that. So that's the move. So that takes care of everything. going fast that's the key so I practiced that really slow thought about it you know visualized it everything I could to try and get it fast enough uh, maybe I just didn't work hard enough but <laughs> I got it uh, which I was very happy about 
Okay, uh, thank you, Dolly Parton, uh, another great song, and boy, I want to meet Jolene. I want to meet the woman that could take uh, Dolly's husband, or try to take Dolly's husband away from her, <laughs> and almost do it. <laughs> wow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar.